Hey, it's Beta here with Game Arm Reviews, taking a look at Brink. Brink is a class-based FPS made by the Splash Damage Team, the same team behind Wolf's Tamed Territory and Doom 3. Brink revolves around two factions, Resistance and Security. The two factions wage war over the fallen utopia named The Ark. The game is class-based, meaning you take upon certain roles while on the battlefield. The game features the soldier, who uses explosives to complete certain objectives, the medic, who hands out healing buffs and revives injured teammates with revive syringes, the engineer, who builds and repairs tech, and the operative, who can hack computers and disguise as the enemy to trick them. Splash Damage has developed a system that combines free running with a hint of parkour. They have named the system Smooth Movement Across Random Terrain, or SMART for short. Depending on your position in the area, you can maneuver by sliding under obstacles or speed climbing over debris. Brink features a single player, which can be enjoyed in the squad mission with friends, a challenge mode which teaches you the tricks and the trades of various classes, and of course, multiplayer. Brink looks a step out of the shadows with its unique features. Let's face it, there is an alarming number of FPS styles hitting the market, and Brink is trying his best to stand out in the crowd. You are given the choice to be a light character, medium character or heavy character. Depending which body set you choose, it determines your movement speed, how much damage you can take, and the types of weapons you can wield. Then you can dress up your character with various articles of clothing. This feature goes a bit deeper than what most games offer when it comes to your outfit. You will probably have a tough time finding someone wearing the exact same outfit as you. The weapon system also supports a customization feature, allowing you to add attachments such as silencers, sights, and much more. Brink tries to tear away from the lifelike graphics we have constantly seen over the years and substitutes it for a more colorful look. The character's designs have a more cartoonish look. This is a welcome change in my opinion. It feels like it's giving the game its own soul instead of trying to please fans of other franchises. The game's single player is the same as the multiplayer aspect. Usually, I wouldn't care if the single player bots were worthless, but the challenge system uses the same exact bots. Surprisingly, these challenges are pretty challenging. You should expect to handle the tough ones on your own and just leave your team behind while they debate on moving up or staying behind, giving each other ammo. I think Brink can have real potential if the developers go the right direction. The developers have said that they are going to release multiplayer map packs in the future. Brink can be fun if you sit down and play with a bunch of friends. It has potential to be a great class based FPS that can rival even TF2. I give Brink 4 stars out of 5. This is Beta from Game Run Reviews. Thank you for listening.